World Cup Grand Final. As we join it now, 2-1 is the scoreline. Team Footwiz this time kick it in their traditional black and green strip from left to right. Napoli Esports from right to left, you would not believe there is no affiliation to the football club. It is an esports team based in Naples. Early start they'll be looking for Mbappe. Two defenders there, had to just double up. Even the Knicks there just threw anybody in the way there and it just did enough, Alex. They'll be very grateful to see the defenders get a vital block in there early on in the game. But Napoli, we spoke about have they got that ability to bounce back? Can they dig deep? That there just gives them confidence to grow into this game and say, already we've started off how we started that first leg on the front foot. Ethan in possession now for Team Footways. Not for too long, Paul Pogba. One of those players that's just caused nightmares throughout this tournament. He was in the open pool of, of players you could choose, Alex. And the, the recent promo item that he's had, he's just become a, uh, a very usable, much more than a central midfielder. Yeah, he's been vital to so many teams throughout the recent weeks. But also as well, we noticed there the 5-4-1. That's where it has its point. Popper picked up the ball. He only had R9 in front of him to play the ball to. Foot was pressed, won that ball back. Oh, Nick Snap. So close. To finding the killer pass across the box. They're working in the smallest of areas with Mbappe. Well, that's what he's all about, isn't it? That's what he can do. Such a big rep repertoire of all the skill moves and the cancellations and the combinations. It's impressive. And you know that they're feeling it when they're starting to, to pull out these skill combos. Also, Napoli here starting to be a bit more aggressive in pressing, which I think is necessary. You don't want to waste time, so to say by playing too passive when you're behind in a game like this. You have to come forward as well. You have to make your opponent feel that you're pressing. Always on the hunt for a third. The third time in the Club World Cup. They had a decent run back in FIFA 21. It was during the online era, where it was their South American outfit. They actually got a top two in their regional finals. This is the first they have ever gone in an offline environment with an e club World Cup. This is brave from Napoli Esports player, the tightest of there is, but they're happy to do that. They get themselves out of that spot of bother. You definitely see one of the strategies Footwears have. They're just playing wide, trying to bait Napoli to leave the central area just to time the play in into the box, finding the likes of Mbappe or Pele or Ronaldinho. Just the home, keeping on the, the constant player switching between team footballers there. The way they're doing such a good job of closing down all the angles, making it hard for Napoli. It's a running race now. Usman Dembele has he got the legs over Captivir, who's come all the way from left back to try and stop this attack. Does force footballers to go back to Camavinga, pumped into the feet of Pele. This is Nick Stev now. What have you got in your locker? De Jong, back inside to Pele again. Wilfred Zaha timed that tackle to perfection. Brilliant defending there from Napoli. It looked like De Jong was going to go down to the bottom of the screen. Instead, goes for that reverse pass back into the 18-yard box. Napoli equal to it, though. Saw it coming. Footways looking to drive those passes and be really direct into the area. Napoli's turn to make something happen. Zidane pushed out to this left-hand side. Socrates. And he will interchange the two icons. This is nice. It's such a tight area. There's Pogba! A lovely little shimmy away. Did time it green, but just not to be. Not to be, but you have to give credit to Footwiz there. Oh, no. Terrible mistake. Well recovered by Ethan of Ruben Diaz. They got away with that one. Ruben Diaz did just about enough to, to stand up to Pogba and to be there, to try and make it difficult for him to get an easy shot on goal. I think it went through the legs, hit the woodwork. Napoli showing that they're slowly starting to create some more chances. What a chance that was from Paul Pogba. This game's starting to come to life now as time is ticking away from Napoli. Pogba again seems to be the danger man. Little ball roll scoop turn. Whips it deep into Mbappe. Can't quite 
beat Usman Dembele and it went back to the goalkeeper in the end. We mentioned earlier on about how at fullback we're seeing Klosterman and Kamenvinga in this 4-4-2 and it can be so good when you come up against those crosses. Kamenvinga showing his worth there, a little bit taller than maybe some of the fullbacks we've seen over previous years. You can see why that selection is coming through. Yeah, yeah, very, very vital last second save there from Kamenvinga and we've seen it a few times here in the first half that Fukuz just in the last second saves the day uh, they start to they have to start finding those opportunities again offensive wise Nick Snev dancing in the box can't tip out there's Bruno Fernandes he saw the idea there just to drop the shoulder on Socrates it's half time we go 45 minutes away our team footwiz from a grand final of the Club World Cup Napoli though are still in this game, especially with the chance they just were able to create. Yeah, it gets that point now as we're coming up to the break to go into this second half. The conversations start to be had of when do we change something? When do we come out of this five at the back? Or do we even come out of the five at the back? Do you think that's something, Aggie, that they will do? I think they, they, they will definitely change at some point if, if the result stands. And we also see heavy discussions here where they're trying to break down what do we need to do. I think we'll definitely see it within 25, 30 minutes going over to a four back line or a three back line even. Could be the three, four, two, one, just adding that constant pressure and trying to get back into the match. But I also feel like they ended up this first half of the second leg really well, just having those moments where it could have been a goal. So they, they're probably feeling that they should continue doing what they're doing right now until or if they didn't sc don't score. And how hard is it as a, as a pro in these environments, Aga, to not like in your head overthink that change? I think at this stage here, you're so much in the game that you're not not overthinking too much. You're, you're not too stressed. But that will come, no worries. I think you're right, look. We're only one goal behind as we jump back into this one live now. Paul Pogba, and so close to an equaliser in that first half. Team Foot was happy to play in no man's land along the back line. Sometimes you've got to be brave, and that's what Ethan the Knicks never happy to do. As you'll be impressed, you have to have confidence in your ability to, t like there, take out that man that's pressing you, Zidane. Glosterman, Glosterman with just that beautiful turn. It takes out that press, gives you time to then find the space out towards the wing or in the middle. Maldinho and Zidane battling. Falls back Kylie. There's Mbappe now. Nick's them. So, so nearly finding a way around three players. We're into corner. Can we see here? Keep an eye on the players being moved around the front post and the back post. Ruben Diaz at the front post and the goalkeeper. Virgil van Dijk also looking to tease his run now. You can just see Ethan in control of him for a split second. Now they change. Van, van Dijk is there in the air. Doesn't come to anything, but the press is still on. Kimpembe into it and they play out of that spot of danger. Both teams have been so brave in those areas. They have, and, and footballers are quite happy at the minute because if they put that press on and they force them to switch the ball, it just means they get all of their numbers back and they can just sit with that 4-4-2 and make it very comfortable. They have the ball, and this right now, you see the balls coming through from Napoli. They're looking at it and going, maybe we need to change something. We need to try and sit higher up the pitch and put that pressure on the opposing team. Well, we said, Aga, when that pause was going to come, 10 minutes in, there it is. Yeah, and it came earlier than expected, but they also know that they have to change something up because they haven't really done too much here in the second half but maybe this situation could be after via oh no what a save it was nearly a complete stitch up from virgil van dyke he had no idea what he was doing he put the ball back across he put on a plate to our nine yeah and i think napoli is starting to realize where they are creating their chances it is on the flanks making those early crosses just Sometimes the ball just falls down to you. You'll get a bit of that that luck trying to look for it again here. Cut back. Building into this now in Napoli. Under 30 minutes away to keep their tournament status alive. Zidane on the finesse. And it's another incredible save from Team Foot with his goalkeeper. 
Pressure came on there because Napoli already switched up their formation and went into a fullback. We saw Captavir flying forward. Also, R9 just having a little bit more room around him with players to kind of play off. And when you lay it into those strikers and then go back, that's where you can see those centre mids and the 4-3-2-1 have the ability to look for that long-range finesse. We see time and time again why Van der Sar is picked by pretty much every single team throughout these tournaments. Six foot seven, he just reaches into that top corner so well. Yeah, and they're looking for the fortune right now, Napoli, just trying everything, trying different angles. We just saw the finesse, as you guys said, and they tried the early crosses, and they're creating the chances now. So maybe it's a small dilemma for them now to go into the pause and thinking like, we're creating the chances now. So do we actually need to change something? But I think as the clock is ticking, they might change regardless now, or they will give it maximum 10, 15 minutes until changing. Ethan's heart rate has gone up by another 25 since the start of this, this game. They still look so calm. So many moments yesterday where I think you look across any other team, they'll be going mental, they'll be going crazy when they've you know, just won a penalty shootout. It's like they've been through so much already, them two players, at such a young age of heartbreak. You know, Ethan came second in this tournament, lost to the penalty shootout back in FIFA 20. They've experienced the lows of competitive FIFA. They could be experiencing the highest of highs today. Another save from Van der Sar. That's three of them now in the last 10 minutes. Corners are coming again. Let's jump back to the action. What are we going to see now from Napoli? Pull it there towards the front post. There's the flick on. It's another good save. Is there any way to stop? Pull it. Again, Hullet, front post, he's got three shirts around him, but there you go, finally someone could stop him. Chance to break, long ball forwards, there's a running race available now, Pele, has he got the legs? On two or three defenders, this is Nick Slev now, show us something magic in the final third. Does well to just take a little bit of time out of the game, maybe got a bit too confident. There's Wilfred Zaha, that was the pick up possession, and Napoli Sports come back down the other end now. Time ticking away. Pogba. Socrates, Hullet. Where's that shot? Where's that killer pass going to come from? Keep an eye on R9. Omri, both queuing up on the edge of the box. This is a massive chance now. Can he break away with the legs? It's Paul Pogba. You want to play that's a little bit faster, but he's doing one hell of a shift there. Cut back available. There it is. There's Pele for Nick Step. Can't ball roll it through the legs of Wilfred Zaha. And again, we're going back down the other end. A fantastic step there from Danny for Napoli to just be aggressive and say you are not getting past us and we are going to have our chance to come forward and go again. 20 minutes remaining, Napoli knocking on that door. Keep an eye on those crosses. Omri tries to get back, he comes on late into this game now for Napoli. Socrates punches it into Mbappe, he wasn't confident enough. It was Danny Holt to turn his man there. Unbelievable chance now for Team Footwiz. Don't rush the ball forward. Game management now is what you're going to see. Especially with all this money on the line. Grand final spot awaits where they will be taking on Team Hullet on, or RB Leipzig, I should say, in the grand final here at the E-Club World Cup. If they could hold on 10 more minutes. Maldini with a massive win, so high up the pitch. Finds Pogba now, is there a cross in the box? Cut back, Socrates. Big save, and it goes down the end for a goal kick. Unfortunately for Napoli, but fantastic news if you're a Footways fan. Footways switching over to that flat 5-4-1 now, just saying, let's put our numbers back. We've seen the 4-4-2 work a treat to get them into that lead. Now for Ethan and Nick Snev, it's about how can we lock this defence down, limit the opponent to next to no chances. It's now or never for Napoli. Yeah, it definitely is, and they're just prepping for the last tactics here because they have to throw everything forward. And I'm quite confident that they'll have a few more chances here because pressure is just so efficient when you put all those men forward. You can also see them here discussing, being very clear next to each other. We can see why Luco is the one that does all the talking, all the communicating. His heart rate, it's the lowest out of all four of these players right now. His teammate at the highest, sat in 150, feeling that pressure. Sure, it will go up and up. 
I know. That's this tournament. Gets to the final stages for one of these two teams. Ten minutes left. There will be chances. There will be moments. Who's got the bottle? That's the bigger question. Team Footwiz. Nine minutes away from a grand final. But they're going to have to defend this constant wave of Italian pressure from Napoli. Watch the crosses as more players just bundle him forward. It's a heavy touch, it's a horrible touch. Mbappe, well defended there by Martinez. Right place, right time. And a chance to break away. Big win from Kemp Kimpembe. Napoli come again on the heart. There's Mbappe! And there's the equaliser! Back in the tie. They never said no. A loss of possession for Footways that has proven to be vital. The halfway line, they're trying to find their way out of that press that we saw from Napoli being more aggressive. Defender just stands up. Ethan's trying to go, are you going left? Are you going right? Reads it wrong ever so slightly. But Napoli take that chance all level. Yeah, and they've been knocking on the door. They had the, the clear chances in this second leg here. And also it, it got quite cagey and they started panicking just not being able to get that ball wide with Wisp because when you're just losing the ball centrally you can go so fast here and that's exactly what happens and yeah kind of a deja vu here just both with players the opposite. are a bit more excited aren't they now yeah and it's the opposite because Wisp were the team that actually managed to come back all the time but now they throw the lead so they very never, interesting they never make it easy for Wisp do they no no <laughs> as much as right now they're obviously going to be having those conversations it's 2-2 They've gone to extra time. They've gone to penalties. They know what they need to do should it go that way. However, I did just want to say, Danny, heart rate was up at 180 then. That was me on the treadmill yesterday morning. He's just playing FIFA. I can imagine that late goal just sparked the, uh, the heart rate for both of them too. As you can see, the Saudi fans slowly building up here in our championship final day. We've got about seven minutes left, I believe. Oh, sorry, less than that now. About five minutes of normal time here. Is extra time on the cards again here in Riyadh? More drama at the E Club World Cup, or is there a late winner? Team Footwiz could have this last attack, but it has to be perfect. Show us what you've got. Not that. Definitely not that. Not the possession loss you want to have at this stage of the game. You want to be able to have that last attack. Let's see if they can solve this pressure. Napoli, patient. And we know this, just gonna wait things out, go for that last attack. And in time of two minutes is a generous added time period. That gives plenty of time for Napoli. Socrates, pull it, Mbappe. Henri, big switch of play, there's the flick on, this could be C's last chance of the game, defend it well, extra time is needed, 30 more minutes will be needed here. We'll have a breather just for a second, we want to bring two people into this conversation, Richard Butley, Michael Bell, what's been your thoughts on this one? Uh, Brandon, I've been watching it through my fingers. Rich, you caught it. You, you knew that Napoli were going to get a chance. And it was if they took that chance. There were just too many stray passes, Mike. Well, it's also footless. I don't expect the game to not have extra time. Maybe even some penalties. Why not add it into the equation? It's beautiful step overs there. Change of direction. Left foot. Mbappe. Goalkeeper. Down bad. Down packed. Couldn't do anything with it. He messed up on the step overs maybe two minutes before. And it was a bad choice. This time he hit the step overs. Got the acceleration out of it. And we're going to extra time. Somewhere where footways almost come into their own in extra time. It just seems like it has to be part of the Footwiz narrative. So if you're a fan of Footwiz, obviously don't turn off the TV, don't turn off your screen, but you should be optimistic. This has been working out for them over the last few days. Guys, we're about to get underway in extra time. Brandon Iger and Alex, enjoy it, 30 more minutes. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll try to enjoy. We just got a breath back after an action-packed last... 10 minutes or so. This has been the story of Napoli though, Alex, hasn't it? They just never give up, do they? A team that 
no one expected much from. They fought their way, as we said, through the European Southeastern side of the regional qualifiers. First ever offline tournament for those two. And you just don't know what to expect. No one knows what to expect from this team. I've said it time and time again over the last four days. Fearless. This is footwiz. They know how good they are. They're just saying it's fine. We'll go through. We'll come back from behind should we need to. Taking it into that extra time. I do want to draw attention though. Because Napoli have been applying that pressure, they've been aggressive in that press. They've made their five substitutions. Stamina bars on that defence are looking a little bit more shaky for Napoli. Should Footwiz have fresh legs in that attack and get up against Maldini, who's going to have a lot less stamina, you might see an attacker just burst away. Well, one thing you may have just seen on your screen, there's been a handful of changes. Here's one now, Paul Pogba for Team Footwiz. Oh, what a save from Courtois. The shot was in time, but regardless, it was a ridiculous save from the Belgian shot stopper. Huge save there from Courtois. It was almost perfect from Footwiz. The time to pull the roll in, go for that Travella to that far post. You're just expecting to see the back of the net ripple. Courtois stands strong. Napoli, very grateful for that. As I wanted to say, Footwiz being very generous on the substitutions that have just come on a handful of them on the pitch. Including the likes of Hugo Lloris. Yes, believe it or not, playing as a central midfielder. He is. Omri, Messi comes on. And I think Martinez at the back. That was a change that's made in the normal regular 90 minutes. We've got a free kick here from the edge of the box. 30 metres away from goal. They play it short to Van Dijk. Then they'll look to recycle it all the way back around. Already 10 minutes gone in extra time. They'll be thinking in the back of their mind, surely not more penalties after the, uh, the penalty whirlwind we experienced yesterday 30 plus penalties between them and Ajax this time it's a very different game Napoli getting their first real taste of possession in this first half of extra time their foot was just starting here at the extra time with that chance and I mean I can't help wonder if that shot would have been green if that would have been enough maybe that's just the occasion now you are more nervous, you can see it as well here. No one really wants to take those risks. But, just as I say there, the press comes on. <laughs> it looks like it's a case for Napoli. We'll play for the last chance of the half. Which is a ballsy move if it goes wrong. Flick on, there's the run, there's Benzema. One of their drafted players, keep it teased off his line. Power shot from Benzema. Pulls a big save out from the goalkeeper. Out we go to a corner. Both players just look at each other now for a bit of an advice on what you want to do from this corner. Benzema's in there, he just came on in this extra time period. Watch his run towards the front post. There you go, you can see now the blue curse above his head, that's Luco controlling him. Danny Holt actually will go towards the front post. Manuel Neuer potentially scoring a winner. Great save from the goalkeeper, but this is what you're looking at. The recent shapeshifter promo has given goalkeepers a new breed of life. You can see the game plan already from bringing on Manuel Neuer in that extra time. That first chance that we just saw that came through into that power shot, they go for that dink ball into Manuel Neuer. He's six foot five in the middle of that park. Again, 99 strength, 99 aggression, 99 jumping. What does that mean? It means he wins pretty much every header. It gives you chances, it gives you angles of attack that maybe you wouldn't have if you had a more traditional centre midfielder there. But we saw Neuer even on that near post as well. It gives you so much more angles to look for and threat from those corners. Yeah, definitely. And, and regardless if Manuel Neuer uh, heads it past to another player, they can still be like these kind of random um, fall downs where you can get the ball or it can cause some panic with the player switching, etc. So an interesting tactic there from Napoli. 15 minutes, people. Are we off for more penalty drama here at the E-Club World Cup? Or is there going to be a hero? Which of these two players for the team is going to step up to be accounted for in a semi-final, which will double your prize money? Double that tournament status of a grand final outing. Camavinga wins it back nice. This is Napoli. Big win there from Hugo Lloris. Fresh for the extra time period. Offering you a box to box midfielder. Kamavinga, heavy touch, recovers that one well. We 
are getting so close. One good chance if you're lucky for one of these two teams to have. You have to be perfect in all angles of the pitch. Here's Ethan in control of Omri now. Team Footwiz looking to get up for one of their last chances at the half. Omri still, is there an option in the box? Scoop turn back inside. This is nice, great save from Courtois. Still alive, Mbappe. Something special here from Ethan. He gets back to the goalkeeper. He panics, but just about gets it clear. Wow. Some chance right there. Penalties. <laughs> Certainly looks like it, Brandon. Are we off to a $150,000 penalty shootout? I think we might be. If not, somebody proves me wrong now. And it's time for one minute, Napoli. Your last roll of the dice, or last mistake. Fulwitz with the last chance of the game. A chance to win it now or not. Penalty shootout, we're off to it right now. e World Cup, grand final will be decided here. Fulwitz are back again at the dreaded penalties. Fulwitz score the first one. Manuel Neuer now steps up for Napoli. He does score as well. See here, Martinez. What can he do? Picks the right way here. Gets the goal for Footwiz. Napoli to bounce back now with Benzema. Save Van der Sar. Oh no, not you, Pogba. The worst run up in the game for Footwiz. Is it three from three? It's Nick step over it. Pogba, which way will he go? Saved. Napoli with a chance to put it right up steps Omri which way will he go down the middle and scores can we all square here Mbappe tries for it to Penenga but save Penenga not coming through there time for Napoli to try and take the lead in this penalty shootout saved again and we're all square into penalty number five Thierry Henry for thought he's down the middle has to score Napoli has to score to stay in the tournament. Up steps on it. Which way will he go? Stay by Team Thomas. They will be E Club World Cup Grand Finalists. Mission Impossible might just be possible, ladies and gentlemen. There is something about this Footwiz team this year. Backs up against the wall time and time again, and they come out victorious every single time. How many more games, Aga, can they go through? How many more? I mean, they only just have to get past one more. Just one more, Aggie. <laughs> but heartbreaking, obviously, for Napoli. I think they approach this match amazing, and the entire competition, obviously, uh, for Footwiz. Remarkable, and once again, those 